What's going on YouTube? This is Brooks back. This is uh, my experience with uh, immediate dentures, top and bottom, days one through three. So, let me start out from the beginning. Okay, um, day one uh, was pretty painful once the anesthetic wore off. I was spinning up a lot of blood for about five hours. Uh, couldn't really sleep too much that night. Ended up taking naps, you know, uh, for the first 24 hours as I could. And just didn't watch TV, Netflix. Still getting used to the S's in my speech. Um, but things are going along as planned, you know. Uh, that was the first 24 hours. Um, I was prescribed uh, an antibiotic and pain medicine, as well as ibuprofen 800s. These are the best, though. And ice is going to be your best friend for the first few days, for sure. You want to keep it right here on your cheeks, underneath your jaw, because right here is super tender, super sore. Um, I had a 28 teeth removed, removed at once. So right here, you can feel it, it's still tender. This is day three for me, going on four. And it's sore right here. It's to be expected though, because all the bones that, or the teeth that were in there are no longer in there. So there's a little bit of trauma to the bone. Um, I went in for my first adjustment today, day three, three and a half. I couldn't get my bottom out uh, because I had a phrenectomy. A dual phrenectomy where they cut the tissue that connects your lip to your gum and they remove it with a laser well my lower was removed so far down that it exposed a little bit of my bone and it's very painful so I doubled up on my medicine I've been sleeping a lot uh, so that really actually helped a lot so things to remember before you end up going through this procedure or if you need to get this stuff after the day of E-Day, is um, go to the store, go to Walmart, or wherever you need to go to get this stuff, and get some Orogel Mouth Sore Rinse, antiseptic mouthwash. This stuff will help with the pain inside uh, of your gums. Your gums are inflamed. Your dentist might, more than likely, prescribe you some oral mouthwash. It's chlorhexidine, and this stuff is great too. You want to uh, rinse your mouth out as much as you can. I was doing it every few hours with warm salt water. And then I would follow it up with this mouthwash. And then end it with this uh, mouth sore oral gel mouthwash. Another thing to, that is very good to have is something called Benzodent. Okay, from what I understand, you don't want to put this on exposed bone. But you can put it on your extraction site. And what it'll do is it'll numb it just long enough to give you some relief. If your tongue is rubbing on inside of denture, you can also rub it on your tongue and leave it there for about 15 minutes and it will numb it as well. If, you're, if that doesn't work, you can always ask your dentist to prescribe you some lidocaine, um, hydrochloride oral topical solution, and you rinse with this, you know, for 20 to 30 seconds and spit it out. And what it does is it goes ahead, it goes ahead and numbs your, your teeth as well. Or not teeth, you don't have teeth no more. It numbs your uh, your gums tissue and provides a little bit of relief. All right, um, this is the, the, the day that I'm gonna start wearing or sleeping without my dentures. Um, day three uh, and a half for me, but uh, I'm gonna take them out. I have a, a, a denture body bath a bath I'm going to put them in you want to get some of these denture clean cleanser antibacterial tablets and you're going to want to put one of these in give it 10 15 minutes put your dentures in let them soak overnight make sure you grab a denture brush or a soft bristle brush bristle brush you don't want to use hard bristles because it can scratch your dentures okay take them out at night scrub them off and put them in your antibacterial solution and when you wake up in the morning, do your mouth rinses, 
Use your antiseptic mouthwash. Clean them off your dentures with cold water and put them back into your, into your mouth. Now you may be thinking that this is super painful, super, uh, you know, the, the unknown is kind of weird, but um, I'm here to tell you that I was the same way. I was super, you know, anxious, nervous. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and come to find out, everything worked out just fine. I worked myself up for nothing, um, as we tend to do with the unknown. But it's really not that bad. Um, if you have, a, if you're looking at getting dentures because you have tooth problems, toothaches, infections, I guarantee you this is going to fix that. It may be uncomfortable, and that's really the word for it, is uncomfortable, not so much painful, unless you get an exposed bone like me, or a dry socket, so do not smoke, and do not use, uh, suck to a straw, or create negative pressure within your mouth. You're also going to want to remember not to spit forcefully, and keep a whole roll of paper towels nearby. You will need that, because you're constantly going to be drooling, constantly going to be wiping your lips. And uh, last but not least, another advice to, or suggestion I have, get yourself some triple antibiotic lotion, or ointment, I mean, and keep your lips moist, okay? A friend knocked to me, for me, to cut my lip in half to remove the tissue connecting my gum to my lip, and it was very sore, so I put this on there, on and my lips, and my lips are not chapped right now. Chapstick is good, but this is medicated, and this can heal, help heal, help the healing process come along much more smoothly. Um, another thing that is uh, a good suggestion is find a book and start reading it out loud uh, as much as you can handle. Um, they're going to start getting loose after about three or four days. That's, nor that's normal because in about four to six weeks you will get what's called a soft reline where the dentist will put a soft material into them and then it'll put them back in, let them set and that's going to create more suction and they're going to make your dentures fit to your gums more because your gums are going to be constantly changing all right so i hope this video is informative um this is day one through three for me um it's almost day four uh things are going to get better um it was painful in the beginning just like anything else that's going to change your life it's painful but you know it is getting better and i am so glad i did this and you will be too when you take the initiative and get to your dentist and make sure you can follow through. Worry and anxiety, kick those out the door. You don't want nothing to do with that. Everything will be fine. Um, the drugs that they administer when you when you get this done, you'll be fine. Trust me. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like me to make a video of, go ahead and comment below. Like and subscribe this video. And I will catch you in a few days uh, at day five, day six, with another video. Have a good one.